Finkel, Elaine King, Nasa Pet Herald. I just want to say thank you so much for sharing your story with us. Ben has shared the most incredible story and kept it for the Nasa Pet Herald. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. And thank you for coming to interview me. I oh, really so want well. to share the story. I'm very, very, it's probably the only time I'm going to be part of history in my life. Um, tell us a bit about it and also why you chose to come to us. Well, what happened is... Yeah, being involved with this. So, uh, w when I first found it, I brought it to my mom and my grandmother, who both said it was plastic. So, oh, yes. yes. So, I kept it for about a year, and I didn't do much with it. I just sat in a drawer, in a pouch. I didn't leave it. Uh, and Did then, you look at it quite often? Yes, and... After a while, I decided the only person who did ever think that it was a dinosaur tooth or had any faith that it had was something was my grandfather. So I decided I'd let him keep it and look after it for me. And then he had a talk with some of his, uh, a friend of his who was a geologist. And uh, he gave us the name of, the number of Dr. Guess. Uh, Dr. Guess is the Albany Museum. Yes. Yeah. And how long ago was that? That was about, uh, when I first found it, it was two years ago, and we got hold of uh, Dr. Guess on Saturday. So, so this is a very, January. very recent story. It's only just happened. How many days have you known about the tooth? About it being an actual yes. dinosaur tooth? Only two days. Yeah, it's, it's new news. It's awesome news. After two years, this is the result. It's fantastic. Brilliant.